play. <coughs> Triceratops with a motorcycle. It's really cute. Oh, elephant. Thank you. I see an old hide tears a lot. I fall on my butt. I know <laughs> it. I know it. I'll be with you. Oh, down there, yeah. <laughs> he went down that way. I said, I don't trust him. Especially when it's wet. It's from A1. Gosh. Look at the box this is in, an old Reese's peanut butter cup box. That is neat. I had a little set that goes to these My Mary dolls. Bug off. The bug swatting game. You can just play that around the house with a fly swatter. <laughs> Yvonne pins that would have had perfume in. Pictures. 
rocks. <laughs> like that cat one. In the process of falling over. That's funny. Everything's kind of wet. We got some rain yesterday. What's in the bag? It's over there. something all over my finger there. See what's in the other boxes. That one looks like a pin. And this one. Some pins and clip on earrings. Leave them back in there. So peaceful with the birds chirping. It's this necklace. Got a little champagne bottle on it. That one's a little apple that opens. That's cute. Seashell. Unicorn. Is that a spider pin or is that like a earring? Oops, 
homework. Oh, she's pretty. Fashionable lady. Alright guys, so I am going to be doing my small haul from this yard sale outing. Uh, so this was from Friday. I feel like Thursday was like my best yard sale day of this week. Uh, Friday went out, there wasn't many people having yard sales and I pretty much hit majority of them on Thursday. Uh, but I do have a small haul to share and quite a story. So today is Sunday. Uh, this particular day that I went out was Friday. So if you guys watched my yard sale footage from Thursday, you may have seen me go to a yard sale where um, there was a green rocking chair and the man, like I was looking at it and the man had said something about like, go ahead and sit in it. And I said something like, if I sit in it, I won't be able to get back up. Okay, well at his sale, and I don't know if I was recording um, at the time I picked up this piece that I'm gonna show you first. And there, this is quite a story. So if you're not interested in a long-winded conversation, then this might not be the best video for you. But okay, so we got to talking because he asked me about my video camera and I was telling him about um, how I make YouTube videos and everything like that. And at the time I picked up this piece of pottery essentially and I remember looking on the bottom and seeing the word Warren. And I had sat it back down because like I said, I had got distracted because we were talking about um, my YouTube channel. And so I left completely forgetting that I even like picked this thing up and everything like that. So when I get home, I'm like, oh, that's right. I was looking at something at the sale and I remember it said Warren on the bottom, so I went on eBay and I looked up Warren Pottery. And it's like this really, really like mad expensive pottery, right? So I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? I left this sit and it was only a dollar and I'm just kind of like, okay, I'll go back Friday morning, see if it's even there or if they're even having the yard sale again that day. So I go back to the development. I kind of have an idea of what house I was at and I was trying to look for that green rocking chair and the green rocking chair was still there. No one had purchased it. So I knew right away what yard sale it was at. So I go up to them. There's like no one else at the sale because I got there like pretty much as soon as the yard sales open and so it's still sitting at the table. I pick it up and they recognized me from the day before. So we got to talking again. So I didn't really like inspect it too much. I just kind of like nabbed it and you know, paid for it. And he was like, the man was like, yeah, I made that piece back in grade school uh, when I was little. And I'm just kind of like laughing. I'm thinking like, okay, wait, is he serious? Or is he just joking with me? Like, I thought this was like something special. I mean, to him, I guess maybe it was special, but you know what I mean. Like I was thinking that it was this like super expensive pottery piece of some sort, right? So I pay for it and everything and like we have, you know, another conversation and I go and get my car and sure enough, it, uh, it's a piece that he made in grade school. I mean, granted, it's a pretty nice piece, but it's not like actual <laughs> Warren pottery. Uh, so I had a good laugh about that. Um, I'll show it to you. This is what it looks like, but doesn't it look like legitimately, it looks pretty good, I think. I mean, it's got a top on it and everything. So yeah, so on the bottom, what I saw was right here. Warren, right? Gerald Warren, that was this man's name. And then his uh, class, it says seven, eight. So I don't know if that he was in grade seven or grade eight or you know what exactly that means, but yeah, 
he made this in grade school. So I paid a dollar for his little uh, handmade crafting art pottery piece. <laughs> so that's my uh, story about that. So I highly doubt, like I don't think I'm gonna be listing it just because I don't think anyone is really going to want that or anything like that, but it just, it was such a funny thing. Like I feel like that would only happen to me. That is the kind of luck that I have. All right, so that was kind of just like how my day was going. I wasn't finding yard sales and things just weren't weren't going too too great for me. So the next yard sale that I went to, they had some decent looking stuff. I picked up this ashtray. I thought it was really cool looking. It's just kind of got that, I don't know, it reminds me of like a spaceship or something like that. Um, and it was only a dollar, so I was like, cool, I'll take this. I liked the colors, the black and the red. I mean, I have ashtrays listed. I've sold some, and some I have a hard time selling. Uh, but I was like, well, for a dollar, it's pretty cool. So I got it. It's chipped. I did not realize it. You can't really see it when you're looking, like, straight onto it, but there are, there is a chip right here, and then... One right here at the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There you go. And then it looks like there is a repaired chip that I also didn't see right here. So, again, I don't know now if I'm going to be listing that because of the chippages. I just, I don't like selling stuff that has chips unless it's like, you know, just something really amazing. And I don't know if that's amazing enough to warrant selling even with the chippages. So I don't know what I'm doing with that. But also while I was at that yard sale, I did find these guys and I thought this was a good score. So these are vintage little Christmas reindeer ceramic. Um, they're marked National Potteries. It's, it's NAPCO, but they do have their little uh, stickers there on the bottom. And they have little rings. These are, I think they call these candle huggers or candle climbers. Um, vintage Christmas stuff does, some of it does do well reselling. And when I was looking up uh, Napco Christmas candle huggers, there were other reindeer selling. I did not see these specific ones, so maybe I can get a little more for them. Maybe they're a little harder to find, but they're super duper cute. And I did pay $2 for them, so they were like a dollar a piece, $2 for the pair kind of thing. So, nothing wrong with them, thank goodness. So that was a good find. And then also at that same sale, I got this. I thought this was gorgeous. So it's this little um, china, I guess it's like a jewelry trinket box essentially. It has calla lilies here on the top and then the bottom it's marked Kito Japan Fine China, K-E-I-T-O. This was $1 and when I picked it up, I could hear rattling in it so I was like oh maybe there's like jewelry or something in here this was like before I purchased it because I wanted to make sure like you know they knew something was in there kind of thing I have no freaking clue what the heck is in here does anybody at all recognize what this could be are these like old pieces of gum I'm like sniffing them I don't really know what it smells like. Like, I don't know if they're stones or fossilized pieces of old gum. Like, I don't know. And when I try to do a search, just because I'm just so curious, like, I wanna know what's in this jar. All that was coming up was lima beans, and these are definitely not lima beans. I have no clue. I mean, I'm just gonna throw that away, but I was like, I wanna know what they are. And I was asking Eric, and. He doesn't know either. So, yeah. Like, what? The things you find and see when you yard sale is just crazy. So, I'm gonna clean that up, throw whatever that is away, and I'll list that. Like I said, it was a dollar. I thought it was just really, really pretty. And then I found these at a yard sale. These were new in the package, a dollar a piece. They had three of them, so I just bought all three. Uh, so $3 for them 
and they are called a sinus pillow by Beso de Luna. So I guess it's just something you lay over like your face, over your sinuses, and it has like, it has a scent to it, just a um, little bit of like aromatherapy kind of thing going on. So there's an original tag on here that says that it was $18.50 for one. It definitely looks like a an older tag. So I looked these up, I couldn't find any of this brand listed on eBay. So for a dollar, I figure even if I'd only like sell them for like 10 a piece or something, then you know, I can make some money off of them since they were still in the box. But that is everything that I found for my Thursday yard sale haul. So not like a whole lot of stuff, wasn't a whole lot of yard sales. Um, but yeah, and then, like I said, today is Sunday, so then Eric and I went out on Saturday. So I do have a video of yard sale footage from Saturday and then a little bit of a haul from the stuff that I found Saturday as well. So that video will be coming soon, but that is everything for this video. I figured I would just stick it all in the same video since I didn't have a whole lot of yard sale footage because there just wasn't many yard sales. But I hope you guys still enjoyed anyway and I will see you next time.